All right, guys, <clears throat> this is going to be a quick uh, review of the new SR22. And I say the new because the original model didn't have a certain steel pin in the slide. This one does. So <clears throat> I'm going to bring that out for you. First off, this is the package that it comes in. It comes with a, a nice little pistol case, nylon. You know, better than nothing, I guess, but yeah. So. <laughs> <coughs> Uh, you get interchangeable base plates with both of the magazines that you get with it. Uh, I ordered the Taylor edition, so I actually got three, so that's cool. Uh, it comes with an in interchangeable back strap. It's not just the back strap, though. It's actually the whole grip. Slides off like a sleeve. Blam, whatever. Uh, pretty nice gun lock. But arguably one of the best that I've received from a firearm yet. So there's that. The chamber flag, which, again, standard fare, whatever. Uh, now on to the pistol. Here it is. Uh, this is the Ruger Talo edition. Um, most people are gonna. The first thing you're gonna notice about this is that the slide on this is black, um, anodized, not stainless like it is on the original model. Uh, so yeah, there you go. Um, this is what it looks like. Uh, it almost has like a, a purple finish to it. To be honest, like under certain light, the slide does have a purple violet sort of color to it. <clears throat> In the hand. I found that with the added uh, little finger groove thing on there, it, it fits the hand perfectly. Uh, as you can see, I mean, I don't have terribly big hands. So I have bigger than normal, whatever. Uh, it's almost the size of my whole hand, so there's that. It's pretty cool. I have the largest backstrap on it right now. From what I've seen of every review I've seen online, pretty much every dude sticks to the biggest backstrap. Personally, I bought this as a training pistol and as a bug-out bug pistol. It's not... Um, winning any awards for accuracy, but it is accurate enough, and it does have a bull-style barrel, as you can see. that It's a blowback-operated 22, which means it runs dirtier, but the barrel is also flat, like, it's thicker. It's a bull barrel, okay? So, it's, uh, harmonics are going to be a little more stable. Uh, also, the, it's fully ambidextrous, which is great. Uh, my, Everyone that I know, I want to be able to, like, if I'm put out of commission, then they can use my firearm. And my brother's left-handed, so, you know, I, I make a point to, because I know how hard it is to be left-handed in this world. So I try to get everything I can in a firearm uh, as, that, as ambidextrous if it's part of any bug-out plan. And this is also so light that I can, it, it's a viable option. It's only 17.5 ounces. So this is a viable option as a bug out gun because yeah, it's not winning any awards for stopping power, but you can carry one can of 325 rounds of 22. It's about the same weight as a can of tuna, you know. Like <laughs> it's, it goes without saying. But one thing though that's pretty cool is the safety is also a decocker, so that's neat. Uh, locks back on the last round. So far from uh, and it does. The magazines drop free, so that's. It does have that active reload thing going for it. Uh, the only thing is, and I do this anyway, is you have to slap the magazine in. So, there's that. Um, it's on safe now. When it's on safe, the trigger, it, it almost, uh, it's as if it's a, it, sorry. It's as if it has a broken sear. And the hammer won't cock at all. So, that's fine. Uh, the sights. Three dot sights. This little thing right here is actually like a post that you undo a screw here or loosen it and you can turn it so you can have a flat black back here and a, a front sight if if you're into that uh, it's adjustable for windage and elevation which pretty much all of them should be at this point you think but whatever um, I have already fired this pistol and the only ammunition that didn't work in it that didn't work in this pistol was uh, a corroded ammunition. I didn't, you know, I saw that there was a mild corrosion around the bullet head, but I was like, well, let's, you know, give it a shot, whatever, you know, what's worse could happen. Uh, and it just, I didn't think it would make that much of a difference, but the tolerances in this gun are so tight that it actually wouldn't even go into battery. Like, I, I even, like, slapped on the back of it and it just wasn't gonna go. I actually had to get out a multi tool and yank the freaking thing back out. So, yeah, that was a wasted box of bullets, but. That's what's great about 22. You know, if that had been a box of 9 mil, I'd be crying right now. But it was a box of 22, so it was five dollars. But uh, yeah, so this gun 
so far, uh, I fired several rounds. I fired uh, Thunderbolt, I think it is, uh, 22. I, I have the pictures in the phone, but obviously I'm using it right now. Uh, I fired regular federal, like I fired standard and high velocity ammunition right out of the box. After, obviously, I went over it and I oiled it and I, you know, all that. Uh, I used CLP on this. Uh, well, a mixture of CLP and, believe it or not, WD-40, but, yeah, I found that to be a really good mixture. And uh, not a single hiccup. And it's crazy accurate. This is going to be my training pistol and my, and my bug-out pistol. I'm going to teach my girlfriend how to use guns with this gun. And uh, after firing it, and I went through hundreds of rounds of 22 of different makes and models. Like I used five different brands. wasn't one problem where it wasn't strictly ammo-related. This gun is reliable, and as a 22, that's saying something. So uh, that's the whole gun as it is right there. Um, you know, you know, want to look at it and all that. Uh, one thing I do have to say though is that the the double action trigger pull on this thing is pretty atrocious. <laughs> but besides that, uh, the single action very good, very usable. The decocker is awesome. I just don't like how the magaz or, uh, magazine, how the safety is safe pulling down. That doesn't make any sense to me. It's very counterintuitive, but I mean, this is also the first gun like this that's a 22 pistol I've seen Ruger ever make, so I'm willing to let it go, uh, especially because of how good this thing is, and it's really good. So I give this thing an A+. And I also, by the way, pay $275 for this. $275 for the gun with three magazines and a pistol case. It's a no-brainer.